Today, I'm gonna to show you how I turn 25K into a million dollars and break down the five steps that I believe is the fastest path to cash. But there's two things we've gotta cover quickly before diving into the steps. First, the way that I suggest you do this is through starting or scaling a business that you own. Time and time again, this is the most proven and effective way to build your net worth and is something you have complete control over. Sure, you could turn 25K to a million with crypto, but I haven't, or with real estate, which I have, but it took years, or stocks and investing in the stock market, which is probably most people's best bet outside of having their own business, but I'm neither qualified nor interested in any of those areas. So starting, scaling, and then selling or sustaining your own business is the secret. Okay, only other point I wanna make here is that I want you to know that you can do everything I'm gonna show you starting with with less than 25K. It's just gonna take a little longer and you'll have to be more creative, but you can certainly do it. So here are the steps that worked for me and hundreds, if not thousands of people that I've shown this to over the years. And it all starts with step number one, acquiring high value skills. I think the fastest path to cash is to acquire high value skills and then pair them with a high value market, which is a segment of the market that values and is able to pay for the results or solutions that you provide. The reason that most people don't make a lot of money is because they're just not that valuable to the market. In other words, they're either not solving a valuable enough problem or there's enough other people out there who are willing and able to solve that same problem for faster or cheaper or better. The secret then is to find out what people want, what they're willing to pay for, and then go out and learn those skills. In business, two of the highest value skills you can have are sales and marketing because they're responsible for bringing in new cash and revenue for a business. So from your 25K starting pool, I'd use the first 10K to do whatever you need to do to get those skills. Next, it's time to free up some time and energy by delegating tasks. Now that you're starting to see what skills are valuable and which ones aren't, it's time to find all the things that you're doing that you hate, are not good at, or are outside your zone of genius, and then find someone else to help you with them. For example, I don't like doing my own bookkeeping, nor am I good at it, nor is it inside my area of expertise. So I hired a bookkeeper and an accountant. And now all I need to do is review things and it saves me a ton of time and a ton of mental energy that I can put towards more important income generating activities. The same thing goes in my personal life by getting help around the yard and the house and hiring a part-time chef to help with meal prep. The key here is to start small and then build from there. I'd suggest using 5K for this, which will last you months if you find the right virtual assistant or part-time help. Once that's done, it's time to move on to step three and focus on upgrading your network. There's a reason the rich keep getting richer that goes beyond politics and economic policies. And that reason is access to insights and ideas and information that isn't usually passed around publicly. This is one of the reasons that I started Marketing Insiders and one of the reasons I continue building relationships with friends and colleagues and mentors and coaches and consultants. I think 5K would be a smart investment here and when you follow the right people can easily provide a 10x return on your investment. Now that your network is upgraded, it's time to put the pieces in place to grow to six and then seven figures. We're friends, right? Cool, cause I need to be blunt here. The reality is that getting to six figures is relatively easy. The key ingredient here in sales and finding people and parts of the market that you can help with your new high value skills. And while this isn't ideal, you can literally just grind your way to six figures and be there faster than you ever thought possible. The problem with this grinding and hustle mentality though, is that you end up doing a lot of different things for a lot of different people, which doesn't allow you to create systems or processes or get really good in a single area where you can literally dance circles around your competition. So the smart thing to do is work on one single core offer rather than spreading yourself way too thin across many different and smaller offers, most of which aren't gonna be fun or profitable or scalable, especially long-term. So that's six figures. This doesn't take any cash, just thinking time. Next is getting to seven figures and the secret there is step five, increase your marketing output. If you have a good offer that helps people and gets results, then there's only two things stopping you from getting to seven figures. The first is overcomplication, which usually arises from doing too many different things and having too many different offers. Basically refusing to grow out of and upgrade from the six figure mindset. The next is even more simple. It's just that not enough people know about you yet. And that's where marketing comes in and more specifically, increasing the quality and quantity of what you're putting out there and doing more things to help more people know about you. There's a question I love to ask, which is does everyone who could buy from you know that you exist? The answer is no. and it's always no, then there's marketing to be done. So I'd spend the last 5K of your 25K investment here. Of course, the best way to make sure all of this works is to start by creating a simple but effective marketing strategy. And this is why the next thing you're gonna wanna do is check out the video that I've got linked up right here on how to create a marketing plan. So make sure to check it out now and I'll see you in the next video. See what they're thinking about and how you can position your business or your product or your service as the solution to their pains. Whoever does this best typically wins. All right, so now that you've got your ideal